In this second section, we will see how to build a messaging notification service with Spring 5. We are going to learn what is Spring Boot 2, which is based on Spring 5, what is Spring WebSocket, and how to unit test a Spring application. In this first video, we will see what is Spring Boot 2. We will learn what is Spring Boot 2, what are the differences between Spring 5 and Spring Boot 2, and how to create an app with Spring Boot 2 and Spring 5. Let's take a look at what is Spring Boot. Spring Boot wants to facilitate the creation of standalone production ready application based on Spring. The main features of Spring Boot are Spring Boot 2 is based on Spring 5. It dramatically reduces the amount of configurations and boilerplate code needed to start your application development. Helps to focus on the business logic, offering a wide range of integrations. Makes easier distribute and deploy application embedding Tomcat, Jetty, and Undertow. Eliminates version collision problems managing your dependencies and also makes the Maven configuration of your project easier. Is microservice oriented and also automatically configures Spring 5. If you want to know more about the Spring Boot or take a look at this documentation, visit the page project.spring.io Spring Boot. At this point, the question is what are the differences between Spring and Spring Boot? Essentially, Spring Boot is a platform based on Spring, and you could create the same application using Spring or Spring Boot, but using Spring Boot, you can definitely get it done faster and with less effort. The important thing to notice is that Spring covers a lot of different user cases, and to do so, it has a lot of different modules. Using these modules, you can potentially create a lot of different kinds of applications. The objective of Spring Boot is to facilitate the creation of any of these types of applications, providing a comprehensive way of aggregating all the Spring's modules. One of the new modules of Spring 5 is Flux. Flux allows you to create reactive endpoints. The response body of a reactive endpoint can be one of the following. Mono, which serializes without blocking the given thread until the mono completes, and Flux, which does the same of a mono but in a streaming scenario. Stream of data in the flux doesn't block any thread, but it gets resources only when another element is available. So in the mono we have a stream that can be of zero or one elements, and in the flux we have a stream that can be of zero of n elements. Let's create our first Spring 5 application. First of all, we will need to install JDK 1.8 or later on your machine. Once you have the JDK 8 installed, to reduce the time necessary to create an application, we are going to use the Spring Initializer tool. This tool is available on the website start.spring.io. The output of this tool is going to be a Spring Boot application. In order to generate a Spring Boot application that contains Spring 5, we have to select version 2.0. Now let's add the reactive web as dependencies. And for the purpose of this demo should be enough. So click on generate project and it will uh, download you your zip, extract the zip and import the project inside your editor. After the import procedure is terminated, you can run the main application class to check that everything is working. In our case, the main class is demo application. Okay, everything seems to be working fine. Now let's create a controller that will return a message over the REST API. Let's name it demo controller. So this one is a super simple uh, REST controller uh, that maps on the root of our application um, a message hello world. Now let's start again the server and let's see if we are able to see this message when we call the main root of our application. As you can see, if we go on the localhost 8080, we will see the message returned by the REST controller. So now we have a Spring Boot application which contains Spring 5, and you can check it inside the dependency of your POM XML. Let's 
Let's summarize what we saw in this video. In this video, we saw what is Spring Boot 2, what is the difference between Spring 5 and Spring Boot 2, and how to create an app with the Spring Boot 2.